Hey you guys, this is Steven from Steven Gaming TV and today I'm going to show you how to use the sprite editor inside of GDevelop. Before we start, I want you to know that we are inside of a tutorial playlist. There were tutorials before this one and there will be tutorials after this one. So browse youtube.com slash user slash Steven Gaming TV for all of the tutorials if you don't see them on the related videos. Right now what I want you to do is go on the top left and click on file then we're gonna click on new and we're gonna be greeted by this screen i already explained this before you're gonna click an empty project for now i'm gonna choose native because i'm not gonna do anything html5 related create a new project and we're gonna be taken to the a scene editor now we're gonna add a new object by right clicking and clicking on insert new object we're gonna make a new sprite so double click on that or just click on it and click on ok we are now going to be take, uh, taken into the sprite editor here is the mighty sprite editor it can be very easy to use and it can be very hard to use depending on you but I'm gonna explain it to you in a way that you can understand easily so you have on the left you have the animations panel the images bank on the right a preview section on the bottom and an images uh, panel on the bottom right here the animations panel is where you add new animations for example the idle animation the characters running animation the characters jump animation and the characters dying animation hopefully our character doesn't die on the bottom right here you have all of the frames inside of that animation because an animation is made of multiple frames okay for example frame one is him starting to move his leg frame two is him dropping his leg etc etc uh in the middle right here you have the sprite window and on the right you have an images bank which is pretty much a collection uh, an image bank is a collection of all of your game's images if you had an image that you previously used inside of your game and you want to use it again here is where you're gonna see that there is also an images bank menu on the top right here if you want to see that so for now we are going to go ahead and delete these animations and make a new one by clicking on the plus sign right here now to add an image into your animation right click over here and say add an image from a file you can either do that or right click over here um, I mean click over here and add the image into your image bank first before adding them into down here so let's go away let's go straight and do that for now I'm gonna use these images these are free game sprites so you can find this on you can find these on opengameart.org or i'm going to provide you a link to the download but these are free and you can use them in your games you can use them if you want to learn how to make games there are many sprites like um idle jump up jump fall sliding run etc for now we are going to browse idle and we are gonna select both of them and open them then we're gonna select this and drag it into our frame excuse me uh, like that excuse me sometimes it get a little sticky and we're gonna drag the second one into our frame so now we have both of these you can preview your animation by clicking on the preview button right here and as you can see it is really slow and it does not loop you can see that it does not loop after the player is kind of squatting so in order to make an animation loop you just click here to activate or deactivate the loop and you can pretty much click on the preview again and you can see it loop but for now the animation is still too slow so to change that you're gonna click on your animation and click over here time between images and you're gonna say 0 0.1 for example that is like one uh, 100 milliseconds or something like that 
because the time is in seconds remember that now if you click on this you can see that he is um, moving at a nice speed on the right right here remember you have your images bank editor and you can add an image from a resource library a resource library is a predefined library of um, of uh, images that you can use for your games you can have character boy chest closed if you want to make a game but you don't know how to make sprites you can use these as placeholder for your game for your game sprites for now for now we're gonna add a walking animation to do that we're gonna click on this plus button right here and you'll be having a new animation but before that we're gonna right click over here and change the name of this to idle by right clicking on it and clicking on change the name and clicking on idle you can also assign a custom name over here right now we're going to change the name of this to walk i'm going to talk a little bit faster because i don't want this to be a long tutorial i want people to have short tutorials that they can enjoy without getting bored so we are going to add a new image over here i'm going to go back to our transparent png run and select all of these over here or you can also cancel that and just right click over here go to transparent png run and select all of these and just drag them there that saves you from having to drag them one by one again if you preview this again you can see that it's slow again and it does not loop so we're gonna go and do the same thing we're gonna loop this and we're gonna set the speed to 0.1 now if you click on the play button you can see that it's running nice and fast up here you have the images point here is where you edit the images point these are what you would know as a hot spot or action point one of those inside of click team fusion 2.5 the purpose of these is to set where the origin point is so if you create a new object like this where is the origin point for it for now i just randomly clicked if you create a new object of this little kid right here it's gonna create the object from this center right here and there we have this thing called center if you do any functions that need this point right here you can have that you can have more points for example you're gonna make a big spider object so you're gonna have the torso as a separate object and you're gonna have the legs and the limbs as a separate objects you're gonna need to add points to the torso to know for the for the limbs to know where to attach so that's how to use that that is the use of that thing over here you have the collision mask or the hitbox this is pretty much your hitbox for your object i'm gonna explain this in another tutorial maybe because it can be a little bit um complicated for now but this is uh, where a collision mask is for example you're making an rpg character and your character is standing tall but you don't want the character to stop moving if his head is bumping on if the sprite of his head is bumping on an object you want him to stop you want him to stop his movement if the square around his feet are bumping on the object yeah, again it's hard to explain right here but i'm going to explain that in another in another video but that's pretty much it for the animation and sprite editor thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next set of tutorials because this these tutorials are not stopping right here i'm going to make many more tutorials on gdevelop thank you for watching like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and tell me i can get better and subscribe if you want to you don't really have to